Hello, this is Elaine with Antelope Beads, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use a coil knot to make a bracelet where we actually completely hide our ends inside of the knots. On this bracelet, you can't even tell where we've made our cuts or where we folded the leather. And so, let's go ahead and get started. I have here, this is going to be a bracelet for a woman, so I have about 14 and a half inches of 5 millimeter suede, and then I have two 14 inch pieces of 1.5 millimeter natural leather. For my endings, I've got a clasp here, and I've already added some 8 millimeter jump rings using some 6 millimeter jump rings. And then for my other side with the loop, I've got three rings. Let me attach to one ring, and then I've gone ahead and added a couple of charms or excuse me, a charm and a bead to that. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start by putting one of my end pieces onto the leather. And I'm going to slide that down, not quite to the halfway point. And I can, of course, adjust this later. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my other end on the leather, the longer side. Take it back. Before I even do that, I think I'm going to add a slide. So let's go ahead and put the slide on next. Okay, That's going to be in the middle of my bracelet. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this end on. There we go. So those three rings go right over there and there's the end of my bracelet with my charm and my bead. So now we're going to start with the coil knots. Before we do that though, I'm going to fold this over and this piece is going to end up right there. And this is what I want to hide with my coil knot, So, but I am going to glue this. Okay. So I'm going to glue these two pieces together just right like this. So I'll go ahead and take some glue and I can kind of make a mess here because it's going to be totally covered up with knots. And I do want it to be pretty strong, so I'm just putting some glue on the suede. And I'm going to go ahead and fold these two pieces over and hold this for a second. And that looks like that's going to hold quite beautifully. Okay, So I'm going to start by doing a quill knot around this area right here. And then we'll go ahead and adjust the bracelet and work the other. Okay, now my little pieces of leather are glued together here, so I'm going to start my coil knot. I'll take one of my pieces of leather, make a little loop at the top, lay it across the base, which in this case is this double loop, and I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping. And in this case, I want to make sure that I completely cover my glued section. Go. That looks pretty good. Check it from the other side. That looks good. And I'll go ahead and put my tail through the loop. Pull both of my tails until the knot tightens. And again, I'm going to try to get that loop right into the knot if I can. Sometimes it'll go, and there we go. That looks pretty good. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and finish both of these both of these ends at the same time. So there's one side. Now I need to sort of adjust things so I will get my rings up so that they are right on the other side of the bracelet. And of course I can adjust the slide at the very end. I'm going to do the same thing. Now I don't have to worry about gluing or anything like that. I'm going to make my loop, lay it across the base, and I'm going to sort of look at my, I made eight wraps on this side, so I'll want to do the same on the other side. And I also want to make sure that I sort of start at the same point there. That looks good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put my tail through the loop. 
you really need to get through there. There we go. And then pull both sides until my knot tightens. Okay. There we go. That looks pretty good. So now I will finish this off. Now this is suede. And so I want to be real careful with my glue that I don't get it onto the suede because it really will show. And so I'll go ahead and trim all my tails. Right flush to where the knot is. Okay. I'm going to take my glue and I am really going to pay attention and just put the tiniest amount of glue and try to get it right on my wrapping leather and not on the suede because again I don't want to end up with a dark spot on my suede from the glue so I'm just going to really take my time with that. Okay. This one and then if I have one piece that's sticking out I can always get a pair of pliers and just sort of poke that in. There we go. And then lastly I'm going to take my slide and adjust it to the middle of my bracelet. And here is my finished bracelet. Thank you so much for watching. Please visit us at antelopebeads.com to see more videos and lots of fun ideas and inspirations.